Hello, and welcome to another edition of LEA's Our Voice, a podcast designed to keep our person served, parents, guardians, and friends in the know. I'm your host, Mike Leon, and as always, we welcome your comments on this podcast and your input on what you'd like us to talk about in the future. Send those comments to podcasts <coughs> at le-academy.org. That's podcasts at le-academy.org. On today's edition of LEA's Our Voice, we are on the road at the Shelby program to interview Staff Terry, an employee success story. Terry has been with the LEA Shelby for a long tenure. Her expertise is in community CSS work. That is what she does here at LEA Shelby, but also uniquely, she has done art in the park, great fun art projects for her individuals in a different atmosphere. And she's going to tell us all about that since the art curriculum as we knew it in the past has not resumed yet, but will. Terry, welcome to Our Voice. Hi, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. So how long have you been with LEA Shelby? I mentioned tenure. What is it about? Seven. But I've been in this business for probably maybe 14. Tell us a little bit about where you're I I worked in the group home. Okay. For about seven years, too. So you were as a, like a one-on-one yes. in a group home? Well, not, well, six-on-one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where you developed your love for this type of work? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Terry, so far, seven years longevity at the Life Enrichment Academy of Shelby. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to March 11th of the year 2014. Mm-hmm. What brought you to LEA Shelby? Um, I liked Working with the participants, uh, but the hours were crazy when you work in a group home. It's like you could end up working double shifts, uh, midnights, afternoons, days. I mean, so I was kind of wanting to work with the you know participants, but more on a Monday through Friday, eight to four, no weekends. And that's what you found here. Yeah, because you had to work holidays, and so it was just made it nicer for me. <laughs> What are some of the highlights of your career? Um, getting to know the participants and that they can talk to me about anything, trust me, know me. They're my friends, you know, being friends with them. Yeah. Did it take you a while to develop that trust? Um, maybe not, not long. Not long. I'm a friendly person. <laughs> they like me. <laughs> now... Before COVID, your expertise was a CSS in the community. Yeah. Um, I understand that you ran some art in the park projects, which we'll talk about in a bit. Uh Um, That is taking the community visit and making it extra special for your individuals. Mm -hmm. So what made this special for you to come up with this idea? Uh, Something fun for them to do rather than just sit at the park or go for a walk. I just thought, like, to have a picnic and then do um, a project like painting it made it fun. It made it fun. Now, I heard that you brought some of these projects back with you to show the, the normal art endeavors. Well, I did. I brought, this is what we did, but I, I let them bring their projects home. Yes. So, but this is what we did. Why don't you hold that up in front of you there so we can see that. This is what we did, and it's just like a stencil, so you can't really make a mistake. And then I showed them how to shade the color. And you just do it with like a big brush and you just kind of, it's called dry brushing. It's a uh, ceramic technique and you do everything dry with the paint. So you put the the paint on the brush and you kind of get it off on paper till it's dry. And then you just kind of stubble it, I call, on there and it comes off dry. So it's all dry paint. And it's just a technique that I learned because I used to be a teacher of ceramics. And so I thought it would be fun to do with stencils. It looks like they did an excellent job. Now, how many people did you have working on that? Um, well, we had, I think, three groups there. Mm-hmm. So we had the tables set up, um, like three different picnic tables. And um, so there was a lot of people there, a lot of participants participating in this activity. That's excellent. Yeah. It's something out of the ordinary because, you know, you can go to the park. I mean, there's a lot of activities at a park, but this is something different. Yeah, and it, it was fun. And to get to bring that stuff home to their parents, that's yeah. that's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Now, this event, what made it special for you? Uh, well, I'm, I, I love art, 
so it was fun teaching them a technique. And it's a technique where you can't really make a mistake. And it, everybody's can come out this nice. So that was fun to show them a, a technique with painting. Now, did they adapt to this in the curriculum in-house then, too? Do they use um, it? I, yes, I have done it in-house, too, with them. Beautiful. Now, what is that beautiful flower pot? This was of one of our other teachers came up with this idea, but I thought it was, I did it also with my class, and they enjoyed it. It was like a little flower arrangement. Now, is this recent? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they got to do this for Easter, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Now, with attendance getting back to normal, the curriculum of art and endeavors is going to return, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I heard you the woman uh, for that. Thank you. A little bird has told me. Uh, uh, well deserved. Okay. Thank you. Now, have you have in mind some of your favorite art projects that you're going to be getting into once that happens? You have other ideas? In oh, mind? I have lots of ideas. Tell us about them. <laughs> um, well, I have an idea. It's kind of like a what? What is that? Um, what is that they do with their, what's that called, with their job that they do? Micro-business. Micro-business? Micro 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 it's, yes. it's a project with that involved, and it's ceramics. You know, ceramics used to be really big years ago, and there's really no other ceramic places, but people love to do it. But you can't go anywhere to do it. So Are those places, like, closed? Because I they're, remember. They're closed, and they've been closed. There might be one open, but... I mean, it's so expensive, you can't even... Because that used to be a community activity, I remember. Yeah, but we had gone to the community. Going to go, go into a ceramics but, class. I mean, yeah, I went there, and it was very expensive. But I thought, why couldn't we do that here and teach them how to pour the molds, um, advertise in the community that we could have classes here on Saturdays? You could get, I would say, if it's a certain idea, like say they were making something... For Christmas, we could have special classes for, you know, certain projects. Seasonal like projects. Seasonal projects. Um, you could charge $20 a person. And for, that's and that's a deal. And that's a deal. Yes. Like, and so they come, but they, I mean, they have to get, they can buy, like if we have the molds and the participants are pouring them, they have to buy that piece. And then they can bring it to the class and we teach them to paint it and charge for the class $20 a person, and then they can do advertising in the community to get the community to come into the building. Would that uh, $20 cover their materials as well? Um, you know, I'd have to sit down and figure that out because, you, you know, yeah, we'd have wow. to come up with paint. and. Hey, that's something to put on a drawing board to do on a Saturday Yeah. to bring people in here to do that. Yeah, and then Thanksgiving, that, Christmas, or before Thanksgiving, you got Halloween, just yep, think of the seasonal yep, items. just the seasonal items and people to get them to come in here. And what is that? Remember the one meeting we had where they wanted to interact with Inclusion. a... Huh? Inclusion. Inclusion. So, you, you know, to get the community to come in here and then them being the teacher... Have because, the person served, yes. You know, because some of the paint techniques anybody can do. Like if it's glazing, it doesn't matter how you put it on as long as you do three good coats. You know, if you do this kind of painting, there's... It's just painting techniques that you can't really make a mistake, if that makes any sense. It does. I used to teach. It does. So. If you have gift idea problems that need solving, go to 20 and Below Boutique. 20 and Below is a boutique and an employment opportunity for our individuals at the LEA Monroe Program. Unique items, also available for shipping, are available for your purchase, which includes seasonal items. 20 and Below is located at 106 East 1st Street, Monroe, Michigan, 48161. Their phone number, 734-349-8150. To ship an order, just access www.20andbelow.store forward slash. That's www.20andbelow.store forward slash. Uh, with this being, you know, ceramics being one of the projects and these fine works. Tell us about, do you have any other favorite projects that you're thinking about for your individuals? Um, they love to do cards. Cards with um, stamps, you know, uh, card making. Uh, with like greeting cards? Greeting cards uh, with stamps, different stamps, ink, things like that. Here again, that could be seasonal too. Yes. To give to their parents and things of that yep. nature. Mm -hmm. and, uh, phenomenal.
Thank you. Which highlight in your career are you most proud of? Um, hmm. Mention them all. Sounds like you got a few. Well, it's fun working here. Like when we used to have the parties, we haven't been able to have those. It was really fun for the participants. Like when we, it was like going to a wedding where they had a band. It was really fun. Everybody danced and had a good time. It was fun. I enjoyed that. Well, we, we hope and pray that that's on its way back. Yeah. We're starting to gain momentum. Yeah. Uh, we're starting to head towards what they call that herd immunity. Yeah. And uh, that's going to help community outings. Yeah. As well as things back in house. And and the participants looked forward to that. Like sure. when there's a party here, yeah. oh, they were just like, they're so excited. Well, you have these big bay doors here. You can do a lot of outside activities. The barbecues too. that Ab we used to have, the absolutely. end of the season barbecues was fun. What are you looking forward to the most as we continue to reopen? Obviously, it'll be getting back into the art norm, but let's say from a community standpoint, getting them back out there, what type of community outings do you think you'd like to see happen uh, as they reopen? Hmm. Uh, I mean, they love the basketball. They love doing that, the basketball outing. Um, restaurants, they loved going to the restaurants and going out to eat. Okay. Um, in the park, and, and I mean, they enjoyed the park, going for walks, nature trails, and Sometimes when I'm there, I, I, you know, we do pine cone hunting because we make pine, we'll make something out of them then when I bring it back. See, that's still going to remain a good, healthy venue for now. Yeah. Getting them out in the fresh air. Yeah. Just getting them out. Yeah. Then eventually bowling probably in the future yeah. and things yeah. of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, what are your goals and ideas? I think I gave away one of them already yeah. that you'd like to bring to fruition with the participants here. The what? Uh, that you'd like to bring to the to the forefront with participants at the academy. What are your future goals and ideas? Um, well, just like the um, the ceramics, um, different different pro like that wood project that I showed you, um, mm -hmm. where they can you know they can. I like to do projects that they can do themselves, not that I have to do everything for them. I like them to be able to do it. So I try to find things that they can do. Now, the wood project, you said they, they cut and they do that. Well, I, I would get the wood pieces or Samantha, whoever would go and get them. And I have them cut right at Home Depot. And then they got to sand them. And then they got to have to paint them a solid color. And then they use the stamp, whatever the stamp is. And they stamp their, their image on there. And then they hand paint it. Yeah. Sounds like it's some good work coming our way. <laughs> Um, many times with our individuals here at the academies, uh, a redirection process is necessary if they're having a bad day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you've got to conduct that with one or more of our individuals. Mm -hmm. Your expertise and, and length of time in being here has made you excellent regarding redirection mm -hmm. of an individual. Kind of tell us how you developed your method of redirection. Uh if, if an individual needs it. I distract them with something maybe fun that they did the day before or earlier in that day. I'll kind of get them off whatever they're starting to get upset about. And I'll, you know, and I'll start talking about what we did yesterday that was so fun or if we laughed about something. And then they kind of calm down. And then I say, okay, it's going to be okay. And then I try to talk to them. And it works. It works for me. That's good. You see, you get to know your individuals. Yes, and that helps, and you too, know, knowing. You what, know what moods they have, Yes, and that helps as well, too. Yes, it does. I mean, that's that's the perfect for, for a staff to have that technique that's and that ability. That's very important. If you know the individual, you can kind of know how to talk to them for them to kind of calm down, you know, like... Well, that's great. With, with more art and more community coming our way, uh, the future does look brighter. It really does. Yeah. Uh, now we have a special presentation for you from your program manager, Samantha Peters. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for your seven years. Oh, my goodness. And counting. Oh, my gosh. Oh. We'd like to give you this. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. wasn't expecting Thank that. Terry. Thank you. Oh, my goodness, thank you. And there's a little gift card there for you. Wow. Well-deserved. Thank you so much. Well-deserved. Keep up wow. the good work. Terry, wow. we're so glad that you joined us here today. Um, okay. I want to wish you luck with your tenure here as a CSS okay. and getting back into art endeavors. Uh -huh. 
uh, so you realize your hopes and goals for the future. I think that's a big hope and goal for you to really work with these people yeah. and get the ceramics things going and Saturday ceramics. I mean, it, it couldn't yeah. get any better. Yeah. Well, that's it for today's edition of Our Voice. Until next time, everybody take care. <laughs>